Wait, where'd he go? Marty. <laughs> this is our new YouTube channel. Marty. Today we are in my kitchen. Now I love this room because it has so much storage. We're really lucky that way. But full disclosure, it's really disorganized. And I know that I can't be the only one who battles lunch container drawers that are just overflowing, pot lids with no home. So today I am going to be organizing this space all for under $200. And I hope that you take some tips from this to organize your own kitchen. Let's get started. I feel so excited. If you've got a drawer handy, this pot lid organizer will instantly make all of your lids accessible and neat. Or for kitchens with a tiny amount of space, look for opportunities to use the backs of cabinet doors. Tea towels get messy really easily, so you want to contain them in something that's in easy reach. I found this small basket for $12 from Amazon, which hangs on shelves, making great use of all that empty space. This pot rack has been here for ages, and it's actually really useful. But it needs a little love, so I'm going to deck it out with fresh herbs. I'm hanging these pots I found at the craft store, they're $1 each, with S-hooks. This IKEA kitchen cart is an awesome way to add extra storage space in a small kitchen. This is what mine used to look like. I went to the hardware store and found a couple of colors I liked and asked for a sample pot size that cost just $6. So, <laughs> I've decided to pink, paint this bubblegum pink because why not? Do you think it's too bright? So we'll see how it turns out. Stay tuned. But with a little paint, it looks brand new. We store all of our dried goods in glass jars. So I got some chalkboard paint I'm using a foam brush. I'm doing a streak of paint on the front and labeling each. You could also use chalk labels, but I love how it looks slightly rustic and a little bit messy. Here's a good tip. Use a tray to set up stations around your kitchen so things stay corralled and neat. A mason jar with a chalkboard marker label stores the ground coffee and just looks way prettier. The rest of the coffee items that we don't use every day are going to stay tucked away in this basket. And another tray holds our mini bar. I'm using these tall jars, which I got from the dollar store, to house things we use pretty regularly, like chia seeds and cereal. I'm using the $6 sample pots of paint to add a pop of color. Use a foam roller so you don't see the brush lines on the glass. I'm using painter's tape to make sure I get a crisp line. We were storing our cooking onions and potatoes in our cupboard with kitchen appliances, which is not very practical. So I found this gorgeous wire basket that was $13, which is going to complete this little nook. Next up, this overflowing lunch container drawer. Keep lids separated from the bottoms using a plate rack, which will make organizing the containers so much easier. My number one tip when it comes to keeping these drawers organized is to invest in one set of matching containers like I've done here. I took this opportunity to only keep the glass ones and donated the rest of the plastic ones. This is a state of the cupboard under the sink. We keep cleaning supplies and our compost bin under here. It works okay, but it means our compost, recycling, and garbage is all separate. This waste organizer is amazing for small cabinet spaces. This is going to hold our recycling and compost, freeing up cabinet space. I'm sorting out this overflowing container of cleaning products and sorting them into this wood organizer, which has a handle so it's perfect for grabbing and bringing to the area of your home that needs a clean. There's lots of these that are plastic and much more cost efficient, but I wanted something that looked really stylish. And for the finishing touch, a fun dishcloth. It's the little things like these that will make your kitchen space so much more enjoyable. They were only $3, they can be machine washed, and they're compostable. Amazing. I'm so excited with how organized this kitchen feels now, and it really didn't take that much money. If you liked any of the products, they'll all be linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you learned something new. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also in the comments down below, let me know what your favorite organizing kitchen hack is and what you'd like to see me film next. See you next time. Oh, I think our food's here, Greek food.